Hey there folks, it's Boba the Vulture, and I'm getting ready. Are you getting ready? You may be getting ready. Ready as you'll ever be. Ready to kill. Prepare to die. Iram and Atlas. Atlas and Iram. Get ready for Steambot Chronicles. Steambot Chronicles is yelling at me, man. I hope you enjoy it. Steambot Chronicles. This game is significantly louder than any other thing that I play on this friggin' television, I swear. In the band? Steambot Chronicles. Mardrum. I feel like we've been over this, and I know you're trying to do a sort of a soft sell. You think you're Steam working on me? Chronicles. But that's not what's happening, Marjoram. That's just not what's going on here. What's really going on here is that I'm a gigantic mogul. I'm a gigantic mogul. And it's too bad that I'm, uh, you know, no longer a gigantic clock. But, uh, Gigantic Mogul, those are those things that uh, people ski over, right? Olympic skiers, you know, the Gigantic Moguls. Anyways, as you will recall last time, we played an electric guitar really terribly. Um, so, that happened. I feel kind of guilty. I almost want to go to my inventory right now. Right, um... Because apparently now, like, I gave the electric guitar to Fennel, but I still have one. Which is confusing. But, yeah, let's go ahead and practice it. The song Music Revolution. It's the only song that the electric guitar can, you know, be used for, apparently. Essentially, for, for whatever reason, I'm just having to strum significantly earlier than uh, I would think that I would to make an actual sound. That's okay, though. Whoa, hey there, Trotmobile. Um, but we're in town here, and of course, uh, it's a town under siege. The Blitz is on, as you know. Um, well, no, actually, but... Uh, We're, we are at war now. I'm kind of curious as to whether or not people in town are all talking about it. Are you a buzz over the war? Uh, I'm late again today. I really shouldn't enter the room. Come on. This is a college campus. You guys are supposed to be all running around saying, No blood for oil, man! Protest! We haven't had class since the art professor left. I wonder if school is looking for an art professor. Hmm, interesting. All my classmates were talking about the thieves and their trot mobiles. I found it boring, so I snuck out. See? All her, all the classmates were talking about, Oh, no blood for oil. I knew that's what people were talking about. I knew it was the talk of the town. That's right. I'm creating traffic disruptions. I have no remorse over that fact. I have no remorse. So but that fact Let me bike past this light pole I have no remorse There's a bum and he'll talk to me he'll tell me I'm not a bloody mantis and he's right because that's what he's You're not a bloody mantis Hey he's only drunk since noon 
I guess... I guess to be drunk by noon, you probably need to have started your drinking by at least 10 a.m. So I suppose he's doing a pretty admirable job of getting tanked. If that's the kind of thing you admire. You shouldn't admire that sort of thing, kids at home. Stay in school. Stay off the drink. Stay off the drink. And fag and ours. Also girls. East Happy Garland. Hey, there's people walking in the streets at last. I was wondering where all of my uh, pedestrians were. Hey, pedestrian. Talk to me. Yes, my bike has blocked your progress. I'm supposed to go to the GGO, but I really don't want to. Think about that sweaty macho atmosphere. Yeah. Hey, you. Are you trying to tell me? I guess I'm interested. I know it's the bandits. You be careful, too. Hey there, lady. Do you pray at the cathedral very often? You should. It calms your soul. Hey, man. Oh, sorry about that. I was trying to get some shut-eye. Oh, did you run into me? I didn't even notice. I heard those men in black are part of a group called the Bloody Mantis. Seems they're gaining a lot of influence lately. Uh, considering we're on the verge of war, you guys don't really seem to be that concerned. Oh, it's you again. The ladylike woman. Treat her like a lady. The best you can do. That bed in the furniture store looks comfy, but it looks expensive. I know, I've talked to that guy many a time, and he's said all that stuff. I gotta stand as many people as I can on the train tracks. This seems safe. Eddie's barbershop is great. I had almost given up trying to find a hairstyle that matched my personality. And now I have, thanks to Eddie's barbershop. Stock exchange. The Wall Street Kid goes to hang out. Cause he's Wall Street Kid. Wall Street Kid is a video game all about. A Wall Street kid. I did uh, enjoy the uh, Let's Play recently completed by Grimmeth of Wall Street Kid. Um, I'd never played. I, I briefly tried playing Wall Street Kid before. It seemed interesting enough, but uh, I couldn't get over the the over over the the, the music. Uh, essentially, the one song that played over and over continually. Alright, didn't seem like anybody was saying anything new, so let's go to Alcazar Condor and deliver these emergency supplies. Nice to know that people outside the city at least are interested in the war effort. These people inside the city won't be satisfied until the Society of the Bloody Mantis has taken over all the streets here inside the city. Which, you know, I mean, if the friggin' killer elephant gang could do it to, uh, do it to Nefroburg, surely the Bloody Mantis Society can do it to, uh, Happy Garland. I mean, nothing against the killer elephants, they seemed like jolly enough guys, but, uh, this Bloody Mantis Society does seem to be a little bit more, uh, a little bit more put together, you know what I mean? Like, they actually have a plan, they know what they're doing, they're on the phone, they're making demands. Things are going great for the uh, Bloody Mantis people. They're out there, they're doing things, they got, uh, they got plans together. They're schemers. Me, I'm a dog just chasing cars, you know? Ah, uh, let's go to Alcazar Condor. Let's go! Let's go while I'm still feeling it. The outskirts of Happy Garland. Now, I am many videos ahead of uh, what I actually have posted. I know I sound like Mysterious JG with the. Well, who's this down here? A polite Bloody Mantis. Oh, you must be the civilian army's transporter. I'm one for the Bloody Mantis. This is a pretty tough job, eh? I've actually got a favor to ask. Could you spare me something from your cargo? 
I'm willing to pay 1600 you are for just one. Nobody would notice. No. I understand. If you change your mind, though. That guy seriously wanted us to give up our, our goods to help the enemy. I'm not going to give up my goods to help the enemy. That is not the gigantic mogul's way. It's certainly not the gigantic clock's way, which, let's face it, is who I really am. Deep down, I am a gigantic clock. I am a deep down gigantic clock. Who goes boingy 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 over those hills? On the zigzag way. But no, I know I sound like a mysterious JG uh, talking about his Romance of the Three Kingdoms videos, but I am actually many videos ahead um, right now of where. Uh, of what I have posted. So, you know, any suggestions that people are making along the way, mostly people have been content to sort of just let me putter along at my own pace, and I'm grateful for that. Um, but I have had um, Captain Sexapants um, posted a comment on my actual channel as opposed to on any of the videos suggesting that I pick up some horse legs, because um, I'll be able to carry, like, bigger weapons with them. Which is, you know, not a bad suggestion. Um, the things that will prevent me from doing that right now are, one, um, you get the horse legs at the Killer Elephant Gang's hideout, which um, is a long way away from where I am right now. Also, um, apparently the big drawback, if I remember right, from the killer el or the horse legs is that they have a hard time moving laterally, which when I duel people is pretty much all I'm doing. I'm doing like this stuff. I'm jumping around them side to side. Because, uh, they have a harder time tracking that stuff. Let me give Marjoram these supplies. Okay, we just accounted for. Thanks, Vanilla. Oh, you should perform in our concert later. Dandelion's here too. Dandelion! I think he's over at the meal distribution table. He's over at the meal distribution table? What? He's trying to horn in on our sweet, lovely. Hey, wait a minute! Pablo! Happy Garland seems happening right now. I've been a while. It's been a while, but I'd like to see it for myself. I don't have a, a, a body for that action right now, but I will totally take you to Happy Garland. Leave it to me, a soldier. I'll fix her up like new. Um, yeah, uh, replace some frames for me. Give me a back frame. Give me a carriage. You will notice that I am continuing to ignore the uh, main plot as much as possible. In favor of getting Pablo to Happy Garland says, "Yeah, you should. Uh, you should totally go to Happy Garland. I'm going to take you there right now. I'm so excited that I have a reason to put off doing any more. This is a good time to leave. What? Fuck you, game." Gigantic mogul can't do whatever he wants. I'm gonna park the trot mobile right now. <laughs> Sorry, traveling artist Pablo, who I just promised I was gonna take to Happy Garland, and I've just phased into a wall here. Um, Dandelion's about to play, so you know, Dandelion. Up, oh, what's going on here? Welcome. You've got mail. I mean, you've got mail. I'm not comfortable with war, but Basil begged me to come. What is it good for? Absolutely nothing! Say it again! Plus, I haven't really performed for a long time. I'm a little nervous. I see. Hey, Dandelion! Savory's here! Uh, everybody, rush together! Oh no! Now that we're... Well, Savory's just gonna saunter up very slowly. I'll let her do it. You know. It's been a while. Yeah, yeah, come on. Savory. It's always nice to see you again. Oh, yeah! Okay, then. This is it. This is it? Wow, this is like the largest group of them ever, even without Fennel. They should get Fennel together. It'll be like a super group. Like the Traveling Wilburys or something. Climb onto the deck when you're ready. Let's go. I can't wait! 
You can swing by too if you want. I can't wait. All right. I guess we'll go sing this concert. But first I'm going to go talk to the audience, the assembled crowd. Why isn't it starting? Dandelion's violin can touch even the most elderly heart. When he breaks it in my skull, the Garland Globetrotters are going to hold a concert for us. I can't think of a better way to cheer up the troops, especially with Dandelion joining in. Our families will be so jealous. He's often called the finest violinist in the country, you know. That's so. Why isn't it starting? I never expected Dandelion would do a free concert. If I'd known, I would have charged. I could have charged a mission. Oh, Delson. Pretty sure all the civilian army soldiers are just going to say, Why isn't it starting? Yeah. I knew moving here from Fort Raven was the right decision. Otherwise, then I would have seen the famous Dandelion at concert. I can't believe it. Dandelion, and I get to hear him. I mean, I used to hate working in this backwater fort, but it finally paid off big time. You people. Why is it starting? Echinacea, that's her name, that's right. It's been such a long time since everyone got together for a concert. I don't consider Fennel worth mentioning. He's human garbage. Okay. I gotta play a concert here, folks. Whoa. Quite an elaborate, uh, organization here. Oh, it won't even let me go back on the, uh, whatever that thing is. Look at all this stuff. Been a while. It's been a while since I was on stage. How do you feel up here right before the performance? It's no different than on the street. Sounds like you got what it takes to be a performer. Everyone ready? Just a minute. I want to talk to everybody. Let me know when you're ready. Hey, Savory. I'm surprised Dandelion's going to perform with us. Yep, pretty surprising. Oh, it's almost time. Playing with Dandelion is gonna rock. Uh. Marjoram, talk to Dandelion when you're ready to play. See, that's the thing about Marjoram. He pretty much just says, "This is what you should do next." That's his whole deal. I haven't seen Dandelion in a while. It's good to know he's doing all right. Um. Why don't you visit more often? Well, we live far apart, and Dandelion's just really busy. Bullshit! <coughs> so, it's not easy to find time to see him, I guess. Connie, no, not giving her a present. Yep. What do you think of Dandelion? Well, he's kind. He plays violin beautifully. I think he's a reliable person. Connie, no. Is he better looking than me? Hmm, that's a hard one. You're both handsome in your own ways. Connie, you're not getting a present after that. Yep, you haven't seen him, alright. Let's make this our best concert yet. Yeah, let's do our best. Connie, no! Why should I be giving her, like, honey and donuts and crap right on stage? Everybody, watch Connie eat! Actually, there's probably a website devoted to that already. Now would be a good time to facepalm. Oh no, he's contemplating the website. Uh, turn away from the camera. Hide your... Alright, yeah. <sighs> Everyone ready? Yeah, let's go. I want to play the trumpet. Make someone else play... Uh, fine, I'll play the friggin' harmonica then. 
Oh, I am playing the trumpet. What? No, I'm playing harmonica already. It won't let me do anything. Alright. Confirm. Whatever. Are you ready? I don't know why you're talking to me. Apparently Connie runs the show. Yeah, victim of the words. Everybody loves the victim of the words. Yeah. You were a fool to say so. Words. Put Bogart and the trumpet over there. Friggin' Basil. I want to play trumpet. I'm tired of this friggin' harmonica. Also, trumpet is a slightly easier instrument to play. In this game. Trumpets are actually a difficult musical instrument to play, I'm not saying that. I used to be a brass player. Uh, trombone is still a little. So, there you go. The weird one. Well, at least this one doesn't really have the very complicated uh, harmonica part. It's got that going for it. You're really all I want. Yay! See, this one just sort of has a... Th this song just sort of putters out. Doesn't really give you a great applause moment. There's no like... Did it, did it, did Beep! Finish playing song number one. You okay for more? <laughs> sure thing, Connie. <laughs> oh, play the bass for once, Basil. You know how to play friggin' every instrument. Well, no, you know how to play three instruments. Play something other than the trumpet. Fine, we'll play. Impossible. He's just doing this. He's just trolling me. Friggin' Basil. This is why I hate you, Basil. I make fun of you because I actually dislike you. Everybody else is just being a jerk. Because hating someone is actually hate. <sighs> Let me tell you how much I hate. No. That's not what we're doing here. But yeah, Basil. <laughs> Apparently hating someone is a uh, perfectly good and does not make you a bad person. Um, <laughs> you know, as much as I enjoy the music of Stevie Wonder, and I know that actually probably does not put me in the uh, best standing among some of my viewers. I'm sure that many of my viewers are like, what's Stevie Wonder? That's terrible. Well, that's really lame. But, uh... He's a very innovative musician. And one of the last true Motown artists. Um, of the old tradition of rhythm and blues. And that's the problem. He's sort of the pivot point between rhythm and blues and R&B music. And... I gotta say, I love rhythm and blues. R&B, just a little overwrought. Um... And part of it is this whole... Like, nobody can actually sustain a note. Now, something that, uh... 
you know, Stevie Wonder uh, started doing back in the days. I'm not saying he's the first person to do that. Clearly, there were many other people that did that. Not even in just rhythm and blues styles all over the place. But that was one of the sort of signatures that you would get out of his music. And people loved it because it was good. But they grabbed it and held onto it. And, like, that turned out to be, like, their whole music. It was like... <laughs> And I'm like, no, just sustain a pitch. Are you okay for more? Yes, I'm okay for more. I'm okay. In my voice. Just keep on playing that harmonica. Keep plucking that chicken. about as good as you're ever going to hear this song, because we have all the players together, or as many as you're going to ever have. This is as awesome as it's ever going to be, because freaking Dandelion's here, you know? Oops. Wrong note. Or wrong button press. Yeah, everybody's digging on this. We're the best ever. Yes. Oh, we will always sing for you, mother. Sing along! Come on! You know the words! I don't know all the words, but they're written down there. You could be singing along. I'm going to presume you're all singing along right now. Uh, you know, uh, Old guys at uh, old vinyl record shops and stuff are going to be whispering in awed and hushed tones about uh, all the, uh, you know, bootlegs recordings, of unofficial bootleg recordings of this out of this particular live performance that they heard once in some guy's musty old cellar, and how it was legendary, the best, best music ever. That concludes today's performance. The response for our cry was, everyone liked it. The response for impossible was, pretty average. What? The response for in your voice was, everyone liked it. 285 you are. The others gave me a present. Yeah, baby, I got a poster of savory. <laughs> yeah, savory. There you go, folks. Poster of savory. Now I'm walking out. I guess I'm not. How was the concert, Dandelion? It's been a while. I was nervous. Making instruments is a lot easier. Yahoo! <laughs> oh, how's Rosemary doing? I never see her. I hate my mother. She's doing a lot better, right, Connie? <laughs> yeah. That's good. I hope she recovers soon so we can all perform together again. I will, uh... Whoa, ask about chicory? That seems like, uh, that doesn't seem like the right moment to be asking about chicory. So, everybody, how's the person that you all knew that's now dead? Also, I know how Fennel's doing. I saw him recently. What about Fennel? I offered him a ticket, but he said, I'm not a member anymore. No, 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 no. Yeah, I suppose that's true. And then he started singing this really terrible song that I'm sure I didn't make any better. With my terrible guitar playing, what are you going to do? Yeah, that sounds like him. It sounds like he is no longer a member. Hey, what's everyone talking about? You, Basil. And all we need is fennel and chicory, and this would be just like old times. Yeah, all we need to do is revive the dead. Ah, uh, Basil. 
Awkward. Ah, oh, come on, guys. You don't have to worry about me. Thank you for bringing it up, though, Basil, so I didn't have to. Although it would have been fun to see Vanilla go, ah! like that, although he probably wouldn't. Huh. I need to get going anyway. What about you, Savory? I have no qualms about talking about my dead brother. I'll be out in a minute. I see. Well, I'll be in well, in two Well, guys, oh. today's concert was a lot of fun. Here, try this out. Then he points to his crotch. I had to do it, folks. I got a violin. Sweet. See you later, everyone. Ciao, baby. <clears throat> you have to let it go, Connie. Worrying about it won't help Dandelion. I know, but I can't help it. Every time I see him, I touch I... myself. I don't want anybody else. You just need more time, I guess. Yeah. I'm sorry. You sure are. I'm going home, too. Try to behave yourselves, okay? Whoa. What did she think we were going to be doing? <laughs> Sashay on out of here, Savory. The Garland Globetrotter Trotters concert held atop the battleship at Alcazar de Contour. And the fort was filled with excitement to see Dandelion, the musician turned instrument maker. Alright. We have accomplished a lot here recently. I'm uh, going to very quickly come over here and save my game data because uh, we've been at this for a little while now as a gigantic mogul um, t -t 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 yeah this is the one we want to save over writing over this one I'm overriding that selected data yes 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 save a successful success now let's come on over here and talk to uh, Echinacea. Well, now let's see what's going on over here. Oh yeah, the meat market guy was going to sell us meat or something. Can't find an empty stomach, am I right? You have meat. The dog's meat! Have you seen it? Are you selling curios to soldiers here? I rushed over as soon as I heard the war was about to begin. <coughs> Cheap droll. You caught me with my cheap drawers down. Oh, man. Uh, the broken clock. No one wants the broken clock. Gigantic, sure. Broken, no. They say those bloody mantis guys are buying all the supplies. If I get the chance, I'll use some fried scent pet. Can I... Can I read that line again, everybody? I'm sorry. Can we do another take? If I get the chance, I'll use my frying pan to beat some sense into the whole lot. By the way, what'd you want to eat? Maybe some baked potatoes, roasted eggplant. Ooh, beef stew sounds pretty good. Eat to your heart's content. Yeah, baby. Hey, Connie, how's it going? Isn't there a way to avoid fighting? That aside, what are you going to eat? Uh, I just had some beef stew. If you get hungry, just say so. Connie... No. Alright, now I'm getting on my friggin' Trotmobile, and I'm going... Wait a minute. I just saved the data, but I didn't actually stop. Craziness on my part. Anyways, folks, I just wanted to talk to all those people. I got so excited. Next time, folks, I am really hoping that we get to bring Pablo the Traveling Artist onto uh, Happy Garland, because that's where it's at, man. I saw what you did out there, man. That was really something. Attica. Attica. I mean it, man. Alright, um, but when we come back, folks, um, I really hope to be able to take Pablo to, uh, Happy Garland, because that's where he wants to be. That's the scene. Um, but, uh, until next time, folks, this is Boba the Vulture, and this is Let's Play Steambot Chronicles, and I thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye now.